Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I have four new journals that I'm going to be flipping through for you. These will be in my Etsy shop, so I will put the link for my Etsy shop down below. There are four little golden book junk journals all made with vintage uh, kind of boy themes or just or travel. The cars could be a travel theme. There's a um, fire fighter theme fire engine engines and then machines but they could be for any occasion um a father's birthday or just any you know anybody a gift or if you have memories whatever they are fun little golden books all of them i have used the entire book just added to it so all the pages from the book are inside in the correct order and then I've added dyed papers vintage papers vintage book pages that are from other books vintage ephemera pieces and then pieces that I have printed out and I have sewn throughout the whole book I have sewn trims on the edges as well as pockets and tuck spots, belly bands. Each one has a tassel and it is sewn in with the pamphlet stitch. They all have two signatures. The pages will, come, will vary, but they're pretty close. The link in the Etsy, my Etsy posting for them will have each book's amount of pages. And there's various kinds of pages as well as like bags and envelopes, things like that. So these are super fun. Let's get started going through these. I'll start over here on the right with the fire engines book. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. So this one has taught they all I have ties that are connected to the book on this one I have this polka dot fabric that's on the back and on the spine here here's the fun tassel it has lots of ribbons trims fabric and lace the tie is the same fabric now of course there's lots of wear from them being used and loved but that just adds to the vintage charm of them. This one is super cute. All of them, I have made a library card pocket that has a little tag and each one has that on the inside front and back covers there. So I'll just do quick flip throughs of these. This was a little image I cut out from some vintage gift wrap. Here's a vintage plain piece, Giotto. An invoice. This is a Sears catalog. It has a firefighter outfit on it. I thought that was really cool. Some music paper. This is a book page from a different vintage book. This was from a firefighter coloring book that I had found. So I just made a journaling card out of that. Here is a cute vintage playing card there. Billy Blaze. This is another vintage book page. There's that coloring book. Fabric flip. It's a Pictionary card that says fire at the bottom. And then here is a die cut. I had this in my stash from my earlier scrapbooking days, so I thought it would be fun to put that together and include that in this book. I made these little tag pockets. There's a there's three pockets total here. You can put a journaling card in there and then these little tags. So 
if you would like to see how I made these, I do have a video for that. I'll put the link down for that. Well, actually, I think that video will be coming this week, so be on the lookout for that. I found a Mrs. Grossman sticker in my stash. It was a fire truck, so I thought that was appropriate. Another Pictionary card that has fire station on it. Here's another journaling card I just made with a vintage book page there. There's lots of tucks and pockets throughout this book. And you'll also be getting a, a baggie of extra pages and ephemera and things like that in addition to all the things that you see in the book already. This was how to draw vehicles book that I had found and it had a little drawing of a fire truck so I thought that was cool. Some tickets, doily, ledger paper, this envelope there, This paper I used was from Joann's. It is the Park Lane Papery. And then here's the last page there. So that is super cute. Love that. The next one is the Machines book. On this one, I have this really fun fabric that has tractors all over it. It's kind of a black and white, black, white, and red theme, so that's what I did with the tassel. All different kinds of ribbons and mostly ribbons and trims. And then it's tied up with this black and white ribbon. I have a little dump truck die cut there with some tickets and a card. I have, this is a fun travel game, vintage travel game, so I found one that says Wrecker on it. There's the Sears catalog page. It has a log sawing machine there. This one here says Wrecking Ball on it for the Pictionary card. Here's a book page image that I cut out of a disc Arrow. I think it's for farming. Little popcorn bag in there. Here's another one of those drawing pages with the construction equipment and tank there. This is an old vintage playing card. I'm not sure what that, if this is like, kind of like dominoes or something, that sort of kind of game. I don't know if it was really old. Here's another little tag pocket that I made in that video. There's a flash, vintage flash card. Little side tuck there, pocket. Here's another journaling card that I stitched up. Layaway card. Now here's the second signature. There's a bingo card. This little image of a wind turbine. This says pickup truck on it. This is a vintage machine book. Well, I don't think that was a real vintage. Maybe 1980s or so. Little tag or uh, fabric flip. Here's a little side pocket made with the book pages. And this is a vintage plain scorecard. Another Sears catalog. Here's another journaling card that I stitched up of a tractor.
And that is the last page. Okay, so let's go on to the Cars book. This one has like a turquoise and green theme to it. There's a rickrack trim here, as well as ribbon down here. It had a little bit of damage here. The, the top like clear layer that's on top of these books that's kind of glossy was starting to come off. And this was the best way I could do to keep it down so it wouldn't like come off anymore. So that's that. The fabric is this really fun, oops, there's a thread, really fun cars and trucks themed fabric. It is tied up with this red green polka dot ribbon. Lots of fun pom-pom trim and ribbon trim. This is some seam binding here, so lots of fun. Library card here with a green tag and this old-fashioned car. There's a tuck spot and then I made this little journaling tag card that is an old map and then I just added an image of a taxi car and some decoration down there. A time card. This is a vintage workbook page with a car and cars there. This Pictionary card says locomotive. I found this little taxi car or police car, um, Mrs. Gorsman's sticker in my stash. This is an old post magazine, I believe, it, from the 1950s, so I thought this was really cool. I made it into a double pocket page. So there's a layaway card there. Oops, there's the fabric flip. Here's an old Sears catalog page of advertisement of tires. It's a little glassine bag. I had I have some little Monopoly money there. A bingo card. This is a roadside bingo card. This is another one of those vintage travel card game cards. It says 35 miles. More little car stickers. This is an old kids magazine page talking about new tubeless tire and then how a tire is made. This is a CD envelope so I just glued it onto the page and then this is like a little card you can take out and put a picture on or journaling or whatever. Pocket there. It's the other side of that. Here's another pocket. The other side of that page I showed you. That's the magazine ad. Here's another scorecard. This is a pocket here and it is a book page that I cut out. It has this cute little dog, little car there. It's another little tuck spot. Here is another pocket page with the magazine ads. This envelope with the little tag. Here is the little tag pocket that I made in the, in the video to come, but I did it in the colors of the book there. Here's another Sears page. This is talking about Allstate seat covers. Another vintage book page. This is a journal card. This was a vintage, uh, the supermarket 
stamp, an old stamp book. You know how you would collect stamps and then earn prizes like pots and pans and things? That's what that's from. Popcorn bag with a little journaling card. This paper is um, has little cards all over it. Is a vintage playing card there with a stoplight. And another one of those kids' magazine books talking about cars and the World War. This is a vintage book page there. More of those cards from the playing card the playing cards. This one's super cute. I love the that car. <laughs> this is a pocket up at the top here as well. Here's the tuck spot here and then this is the last book page. Here's the back pocket stoplight there, and there's a Pictionary card that says driveway at the bottom, and some little tickets. So that's that one. Really cute. And then the last one is the Cars and Trucks book, and it has a turquoise and red theme. Lots of fun ribbons, fabrics, and trims there, and laces. This has some seam binding and rickrack. The back is the same cars and trucks fabric. It's tied up with this red polka dot ribbon. On the inside here is a library pocket with some tickets and Monopoly money. Oops, there's things I didn't get put in there. There's another bingo card. I'll stick that in another spot. A red bingo card. I'm going to go ahead and stick that in there. More of those cool car stickers. I think those are Mrs. Gorsman's as well. Here is a vintage flash card that has car on it. This is just a little uh, die cut that I had in my stash that says on the road, so I just stuck that there. You can make it into a belly band or whatever, whoever receives this. Here's another magazine page that I sewed together to make a pocket, and it has a journaling card in it. This is another page from that stamp book. I just thought that was cool. Pictionary card that says red map on it. I'm going to stick this card here. Here is a tag that I made with an old road map, and then I added some an image from a book page journaling card there. Another pocket from the magazines, old magazine. And then here's a flip out there of a ledger pager paper. This is an old card. I don't know what year it's from, but I just thought it was cool. It's never been used, but it has that cool car on it. Another sticker of a truck there. That's really cool, a Mrs. Grossman sticker. This Pictionary card has radial tire on it. So 
a frame with a car and a jet ski and another car there. Stuck that in there. I'll stick this here, road map or road sign road sign bingo card. Here's another pocket page. This is a pocket as well. I have a music sheet page in here. It says down by the station and then this one it says the bus song. So I thought that went well with this book. Here is the pocket tag book or tag pocket that I made for this book and I have like this old car image from a magazine and then I used red and turquoise for that. So bingo card. Here's another one of those drawing pages. There's a moving van and then this fuel truck there. Little tuck. Here's a side tuck there. Cute little bus and then the train there. Here is another side pocket on that the other side of that magazine page. And here is the last page there. So I hope you like these journals. Go ahead and check the link out down below for the listing. It'll have all the details and I'm not sure what I'll be working on next for my next release after this, but go ahead and follow me over on Instagram as well as subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I come out with more videos. I do lots of things on my channel as far as paper crafting. I love paper crafting. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.